Welcome to the Crypto Investments Channel. In this video, I will talk about VetChain price prediction and VetChain news today. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Write in the comments your price forecast for VetChain in 2022. VetChain, Vet, is a blockchain platform for logistics management. Work on a project began in 2015 and it saw the light in June 2016. VetChain aims to use distributed control technologies and the Internet of Things to create an ecosystem that solves the main problems in supply chain management. The platform uses two internal tokens, VAT and VTHO, to manage and create value based on the Vichinter public blockchain. The idea is to improve the efficiency, traceability and transparency of supply chains, while reducing costs and putting more control in the hands of individual users. VetChain was created by Sunny Liu, formerly the Chief Information Officer, CIO, of Liu's Futon China. The second co-founder is Jay Zhang. He leads the global corporate structure, corporate governance and finance of VetChain. Zhang previously worked at Deloitte and PricewaterhouseCoopers in finance and risk management. Be vigilant, always check the authenticity of the donation links, and watch out for scams. In one example, an alleged con artist has been commenting on all posts pretending to post the official crypto address for helping the Ukrainian government. Second news today in the first week of the Russia-Ukraine war, the Ukrainian government has reached out to the crypto community on Twitter to raise funds to support its civilians and troops. Ukraine has now started accepting donations in Bitcoin, BTC, Ether, ETH, and Tether, USDT. Amid military threats throughout the country, Ukraine has sought help from numerous international organizations. However, considering that time is of the essence, the official Twitter account of Ukraine extended its call for help to crypto Twitter. Additionally, Mikhail Fedorov, Vice Prime Minister of Ukraine, also shared three wallet addresses, urging the crypto community to donate and help Ukraine fight against Russian troops. While the BTC and ETH addresses remain the same, the USDT wallet address is TRC20 based and is different than the address shared by Ukraine's official Twitter handle. Labels and digital brands participated including Dolce & Gabbana, Etro, Tommy Hilfiger, Estee Lauder & Eli Saab. Meanwhile, digital native fashion houses Orboros, Dresses & Republic hosted immersive spaces and stores within specific fashion districts designated by coordinates on a map. Just like New York Fashion Week where events may take place across different city boroughs, so did Decentraland's MVFW, which materialized across different districts. Dolce & Gabbana puts on a literal catwalk Dolce & Gabbana unveiled 20 full looks of metaverse wearables that they specifically designed for the Metaverse Fashion Week. Playing on the term catwalk, they use cat-faced avatar models to showcase the collection. After the show, the full collection became viewable in an exclusive Dolce & Gabbana pop-up in Decentraland's luxury fashion district, curated by luxury-focused marketplace UNXD. UNXD, as well as Vogue Arabia, were core partners of Decentraland in curating the traditional fashion brands at MVFW. Colpart Social Media Company and DAO, which is a non-hierarchical organization that spreads control among participants. In such a case, the user doesn't just have access to the platform, but also has a say in shaping it, and can even profit from its success. No surprise then that Han thinks there's a need to build a different kind of firm. To create a new internet that is an improvement over our current tech paradigm is a hugely ambitious project, she wrote. It not only requires brilliant technologists to build, but also experienced operators who can responsibly shape public opinion, policy, and the broader systems that power our society, so that WEB3 can fulfill its potential. To this end, the firm said it hired a senior leadership team consisting of several crypto and fintech veterans. Sasha Ivanov, the founder of the protocol, will serve as an advisor to the firm. The launch represents a major step in Wave's plans for 2022, which the firm had announced in February. The protocol also has plans to establish a decentralized governance model and increase integration with other blockchains. Is it altcoin season? Wave's recent gains highlight the growing interest in altcoins in recent weeks. Ethereum's ETH rising popularity ahead of its shift to a proof-of-stake model has drawn attention to several other altcoin projects. Tokens such as Terra, Luna, Cardano, ADA, and Solana Sol, have all posted large gains in the last two weeks, while also attracting increased institutional interest recorded by the digital asset. The very noticeable spike had occurred just after the announcement had been made public, but the digital asset found it hard to hold this point. Instead, there was a subsequent downtrend that brought the price back down. However, the momentum would prove to not be dead as the recovery would pick up the next day. By Thursday, Cardano had recovered to as high as $0.857 from its trending week low of $0.78. Cents. After touching this point, the digital asset would return back down, only to begin trading at a higher low. It settled above $0.8 as of the early hours of Friday, and continues to trend in this region. What the indicators say both the short and long-term forecasts for Cardano are not too positive. At the current price, the digital asset is trading well below its 50 and 100-day moving averages. 
Both of these determine if investors are willing to purchase a digital asset at a lower or higher price. And right now, investors coming into the cryptocurrency seem to want to purchase ADA at low prices. This has put significant selling pressure on the digital asset that continues to shine through today. All short, medium, and long-term indicators have all skewed completely into the selling territory, leaving no room for reprieve. Zero dollars. 85 remains an important resistance point for the cryptocurrency at this point as the ability to not only beat this, but stay above it would see it rally towards testing the $0.9 resistance level. Nevertheless, Cardano is still a long way from going back above $1 given investor sentiment, and the current market being one for the sellers. Credit Suisse Vet launching $200 million crypto options trading fund. CK Zheng formerly the global head of valuation risk at European investment bank Credit Suisse, is targeting a $200 million fundraise for a new crypto hedge fund. The Wall Street Vet has joined forces with Felix Su and Yamuzu. A chain price prediction for 2022, 2025 and 2030 is what we have for you today. When we look closely at the cryptocurrency market, we feel that it is doing quite well, rather, it is doing very well. The chain price prediction 2022 VET has huge potential, with certain interactions and innovations, it is possible to increase the number of users and advertising. If the market focuses on investing in VET chain, the price could rise much higher. By 2022, it may reach a maximum value of $0.073. That is expected to reverse slightly if the market goes down. The year 2022 could end with an average price of $0.065, a minimum price of $0.063, and a maximum price of $0.073. That chain price prediction 2023. In 2023, with wider adoption and partnerships among other important blockchain networks, the price of that chain will skyrocket. The maximum trading price may reach 11 cents in 2023. The price ranges will be very trendy if we stick to them. If all goes well, we can expect an average price of $0.097, with a maximum price of $0.11 cents for 2023. That chain price prediction 2024. Volatility drives the cryptocurrency market. Today it is not easy to predict and keep up with current prices. This is where many cryptanalysts come into play. Price projections are correct for the years indicated. Cryptocurrency consumers remain concerned about cryptocurrency bans and new restrictions. That chain could cross $0. 16 If the market sees a nice bull run in 2024. Given that it is expected to be owned by long-term investors, its average price for 2024 will be around 14 cents. That price prediction 2025. There are signs that the cryptocurrency market is entering a new year. We are confident that the long-term price forecast for VET will rise, as there is still optimism that the currency will attract much more attention. The year 2025 could end with an average bid of 21 cents, and a minimum bid of 20 cents. The maximum bet is expected to be around 24 cents. That price forecast 2026. For a long-term forecast of the vet chain price, basic analysis is important. In terms of industry benefits, the native token offers several. The autonomy of the digital economy makes it ideal. As DAP and stablecoins evolve, the network offers competitive programmable payment, logistics, and storage options. There is a possibility that the average vet price will rise to around $0. 30 by 2026, if the idea attracts more investors. For 2026, the year may end with a maximum price of 35 cents with a minimum price. 29 cents level. That price prediction 2027. That will be seen as the best option, and with a huge community, the vet chain price will reach new highs. Price swings are hard to predict, especially if the market is more bullish or bearish than ever. For the year 2027, the vet chain rate will be almost 40 cents. The maximum bet we can get is 50 cents. A chain N2027 average price prediction could be around 42 cents. A huge price turnover is expected in the range determined by the cryptocurrency market. That chain price prediction 2028. It appears that by 2028, that chain, that prices will reach a level similar to their previous all-time high. For 2028, we can expect the average rate to be 60 cents. If everything goes smoothly, we predicted that that chain's maximum price could be up to 72 cents in 2028. Of course, there are chances that the market will fall after a long bull run, and this is normal for the cryptocurrency market.